the streaming wars. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. HBO just announced as part of the streaming wars that they are, you know, they, they are part of their they announced HBO now is going to be 1499 a month. It stands out as one of the more expensive options for the streaming okay. wars. Um, yeah. and it got me thinking like, so you've got, so, so, I, I listed out all the options that I could find and they include like Hulu, Netflix, Disney, HBO, Amazon, Apple, Sling, CBS, YouTube, oh, Fubo, yeah. AT&T, Plex. Whoa. There's actually, yeah. there's actually more than we even know. And this doesn't include like, you know, PBS even offers an app that you can in the U S sure. where you can donate $5 and they'll give you the app, but you can also get it yeah. for free. There's crackle. That's for free. There's Quibi or Quibbo quibble or something. That's, that's also I, like, I'm sensing that, we really love watching TV. No, Americans. I, I, I mean, it is shocking how much we like television. Um, but I want I, I, there's a bunch of articles about how much these things cost. So I just went out and kind of like aggregated most of the big ones. Sling is the most because Sling is like live TV. It's supposed yep. to be cord cutting. It's so it's twenty five dollars a month or so. Um, and then you get into like the 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 expensive sports channels, MLB, NFL. Right. Um, and then there's some kind of like weird ones to me. Like I don't know where what Philo is, but it apparently it's costs a, like twenty dollars. That's okay. what I thought. I thought <laughs> it's like a flaky dough. If it yeah. only cost me twenty five dollars a month for all I could eat of flaky dough, I'm in. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a great, great life plan there. Yeah. But when you get into like the channels that mm-hmm. you know that we're, everyone's talking about, HBO, Netflix, um, Disney, you know, Amazon, they start to come down to fifteen and above. I did a quick histogram of this actually, um, okay. because histograms are fun. So twenty two of um, yeah. the, you know, roughly 30 companies, uh, or streaming services that I saw that I could find, um, right. were between about five and, um, uh, $13 or so. Um, okay. So the vast majority of sort of bulk in this, like this Netflix. space. Yeah. So when you think of streaming services, what you should think is I'm going to pay about $10 a month probably for whatever okay. one thing it if is. You can actually just have one. You could just have one. Oh, yeah. But right. what I wanted to do, um, because it makes me angry yeah, every time I see them. I get. I, yeah. I, I, I wanted to actually identify. I'm which, waiting for the rant, Matt. Well, which of these companies do I actually want to watch? Like, if I okay. if I cared, yeah. if I was going to buy all the ones I wanted to watch, which ones would they be? So I identified just a few. It was like NFL, because I, I like to watch football, even though You're it's. You're a man. But, well, it's I, I know it's watching man, large man child like people concuss themselves. Yeah. I'm, that's a you got to be entertained by something. I also like the NBA, which is large okay. man child like people putting a <laughs> ball in a hole. It's fine. Right. You're you're very pro China. <laughs> and then HBO, Netflix, Amazon, and Apple kind of round yeah. out my appeal. That's I have Netflix. Your, yeah. I have Amazon. Uh-huh. I like HBO. Um, you love those dragons yeah when you add in how much what the internet would cost you a month in this country in the united states of america okay, where internet yeah. is ridiculous yeah it came to like 150 dollars a Ugh. month yeah all the show all the television that i would want to maybe watch and i don't watch that's, that much yeah. that's fine but just don't work for free float media if, if that's what you want to so good point so it, I had this idea of maybe this new innovation, and I want to run it by you. What do you think? Okay, I'm ready. I'm going to put my coffee down. What if there were some sort of device okay, I could put you. under, I picture it. I could put this device under my television. Under your television? Yeah. And it mm-hmm. got all the channels that I wanted, just the, channels, the channels I wanted. Just the, yeah. That I could watch on my television. Sounds brilliant. What are you going to call that? I mean, if it was attached by some sort of cord, I'd call it cord, cordal. <laughs> cord, okay, okay. But here's the thing. I, yeah. I, I, I crunched the numbers. I did the yeah. math here. What we're doing, obviously, the cost of cable right now is around $120 a month for like yeah. cable plus a bit, right? Like get you uh-huh. some ESPN and, you know, whatever. If I wanted... A get what I want right now premium. If I wanted to okay. estimate that, it's basically yeah. the hundred and fifty dollars a month I'd pay for the limited number of channels that I want, 
minus right. cable. That comes to okay. $400 a year that I will get overcharged just to get something I want immediately. You know where this got me? <laughs> no, I have no idea. The winner of the streaming wars, yeah. I am yes. going to announce it here and now on Free Float okay. Media's Business Pants. The winner of the streaming wars is, is. Amazon. Do you want to know why? Yeah, tell me why. Because Amazon charges you $120 a year for Prime. Okay. Yeah. And I, using that Prime, not only do I get the Amazon services of, you know, free shipping and the 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 television, the video, Amazon Video, I also can buy this. This is a 120 mile digital television antenna that I can use okay. to not buy Cordal and not buy right. any of these stupid streaming services. I am so out on streaming wars. It is unbelievable. It is the biggest money grab I have ever heard of. Every one okay. of these companies is going to charge you $10 a month for yep. one show you want to see and a whole bunch of crap you don't. This is worse than cable. Okay. How did we screw this up? Cable <laughs> was terrible and we yeah. made it worse. How did we it's, do that? It's Netflix's fault. They they made it nice. They made it fun. And then it became not fun. And now everybody thinks like they have to be Netflix somehow. This is worse. This is worse. It makes me wish. I, I wish I had a. Yeah. I'm, it, it makes me wish it was all over. <laughs> it's all over. I meter because i think this is like a on a scale of one to ten is like a two i feel like you could be angrier <laughs> i hate maybe next time you go into a rant like loosen your tie or something like put a little like charcoal on your face just, i'm gonna take off all my clothes and i am gonna throw them on the ground it makes me want to do I mean, that this is thanksgiving what thing this is what matt mascar is worried about he's worried about netflix i want to flip over a table and be like f this i'm out of here okay that's it. That's enough for today.